Nothing severe here, but thankfully our radar was a little bit more active with scattered showers, some thunderstorms. Not everybody got in on the rain, but some areas got some decent little soaking showers, especially on the North Shore, where we had a few more and more of our activity was focused. Had some south of the lake, not quite as heavy. Now looking at radar, just about everything is done. Now, at least at our official observing stations, didn't pick up a whole lot. Nearly three tenths of an inch up at Bogalusa, about 11 tenths at Reserve, but only two hundredths of uh, rain out in Gonzales, but notice where we have had reports of additional rainfall such as around Mandeville Covington. Nothing official coming out there, but obviously radar is at or the radar estimates show that there was rainfall and that's where some of our bigger thunderstorms were. Most of the thunderstorms now gone with a little bit of the cloudiness remnant is also winding down, so the sunshine is coming back out. So today, which was expected, we have put an end to our consecutive streak of 100 plus days. Today's high is still a record breath. A record tying afternoon at Kenner, but 97 as opposed to the last three days of 100 degrees and maybe not as many triple digit numbers over the next couple of days as the upper high while still very much in control of our weather. It's going to be a little bit weaker and centered more offshore. That'll probably take us into the end of the week, but Friday, Saturday and into Sunday, the upper high is building back over us and almost entirely over eastern Texas and Louisiana. That's why I think probably a 101 to at least 100 degrees as we head through the weekend. Now, by next week, the upper high does take a little bit more of a jog toward the west as we start to see some upper troughing. And now the models are indicating maybe this upper troughing and a bit of a break in the upper high will start to allow for better rain chances as we head into to next week. Now, as far as uh, looking at the rainfall deficit, we're not even expecting near normal rainfall accumulations, but at least some rain returns to the forecast. Some models, mainly the GFS, a little bit more aggressive than others, but even the Euro is indicating we'll start to see some spotty showers by Sunday and likely a few rounds of some better rain chances as we continue through next week. So not getting rid of the heat. We're still going to be well above normal, but maybe getting rid of those more extreme temperatures into the upper 90s and triple digits. And if nothing else, we do need the rainfall. Today's high was 97 degrees. No measurable rain at Kenner, but the rainfall nearby and with the passing clouds did help to keep our temperatures down a bit. It's pretty bad when we're talking about 97 degrees being not so bad as opposed to 100. Plenty of sunshine outside at the moment. We're still at 96 degrees, and despite the fact that we were not actually at 100, it certainly felt like it everywhere during the afternoon hours and still does. 89 currently at Slidell, 92 at Bogalusa. So it, again, temperatures all above normal, just not as extreme as we had been. Also something to note over the next couple of days, winds have been very light and variable, light and variable. We will start to see those winds increasing a bit, not exactly windy or really breezy, but a bit more of a strong or a stronger wind expected over the next couple of days. It does put a little bit more of a focus on any burning. So that's why that burn ban is even more important because any kind of a wind tend to spread that very, very quickly across the dry ground. So the winds are expected to start picking up in the coming days. Still some big storms out to our east, kind of following along the upper high. We at least were able to squeeze out a few storms from a little upper disturbance that was two hour north. Rainfall, though, is over now and not likely to see much rain in the next several days. As far as the tropics go, good news is all is quiet and we are not expecting any development for at least the next seven days, even looking kind of beyond seven days. None of the models as of right now are very aggressive with development. And of course, we're not quite yet to the peak of the season, but we're starting to get closer to very much the heart of the season, which is August 15th till about October 15th. Upper 90s as we head into the rest of the week by the end of the week and weekend. Triple digits are back probably through Sunday and then slightly better chances for some scattered showers early next week. No tropical development.